Greetings. So this is a short video on how to set tabs for a few lines of text in a document and then how to format with border and shading. So the first step is we need to show the hidden paragraph symbols in our document. So I'm going to come up here to the ribbon and click the show hide button and that turns on our hidden symbols. Um, and we need that because when we go to set our tabs, we need to make sure that we only select the lines of text that we're going to be working with. So that's these five lines. You want to make sure that you do not select the blank line here above or the blank line below. We just want the five lines of text. So I just reselected them. And then I'm going to set a left tab at the one inch mark on the ruler. Here you can see the first left tab. I'm just clicking there on the one inch mark. And then I'm going to click again at the three and a half inch mark for my second tab. And then the third tab is going to be at the five inch mark, but it has to be a right tab. So we first have to come over here to the tab selector button at the far left side and click it until we see the right tab marker there. And there's the screen tip. And then I'm going to come over here to the ruler and set the right tab at five inches and there's our three tab sets just for those five lines of text okay then i just click on the first line in front of the t and i'm going to hit the tab key to get this text lined up at each column click in front of the d for dates and click in front of the c for cost and each time i hit the tab key on the keyboard click in front of the r the o and the dollar sign and do that for the, all four lines here. And, oops, missed one here. Okay, if I turn off the show hide marker, you can see that the, the columns are aligned nicely. Now, they're not completely even here, so what I'm going to do is reselect the five lines of text. And again, I'm not selecting the blank lines above or below the text. Get those five lines selected, and then I'm going to come up here to the last tab set at the five inch and just drag that right tab over to five and a half inches. And you can see as I drag it, the whole column moves with the mouse. And now the three columns are more equally aligned. Okay, so now the next step is to set some tab leaders. And we only want the leaders for the last four lines. We don't want them for these column headers here. So that means I need to select the four lines, not all five. So I've got those four lines selected, and then I have to go to the paragraph launcher button here on the ribbon and then at the very bottom click the tabs button and you can drag this so you can drag it away from your text here and we're going to set two tab leaders between columns one and two and two and three so to do that i'm going to first click on the second tab set and click number two leader and click set and then click on the last tab set and click number two leader and click set and then click OK. And there's our leaders between the um, first two columns and the last two columns. OK, now we're going to do some formatting. So to format, we need to select all five lines of text. So I'm going to select all five lines and again i'm not selecting the blank line above or below and the first thing i need to do is um, get rid of some of this blank space here between uh, before the first column so to do that i come up here to the ribbon to the left indent marker and i'm just going to drag that over to oh right about the three quarter inch mark doesn't really matter exactly there we go, and now you can see that I've just eliminated um, a lot of that blank space there. And then I'm going to come here at the end and grab the right indent marker 
and drag that over here. And then we're going to put an outside border. So I'm going to come here to the border button, come out down here to the borders and shading, and click the box. Let me move this over as well. And then the style is going to be a double line style. And the color here is going to be a green. Oh, it looks like I've got an olive green. So I'm going to quickly change my color theme. So I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm going to come over here to the design tab. Go to colors and change to the office theme. And then go back to home. So you may have to do that if you don't have the, the exact colors. And then I'm going to come back to borders and shading box double and then automatic and now here's some green and it's supposed to be a green accent six at darker 25 percent and the width needs to be at one and a half points and i'm going to click ok and there's the border the double border around my text and let's see if I can bring that in a little bit more. You can see I'm going to drag that in a bit, little bit more there. I'm going to drag this one in slightly a little bit more as well. Okay, now I'm going to do some shading. And I think the textbook had us do the shading um, earlier, but that's okay. Go here to shading. <clears throat> and this needs to be a green accent 6, lighter 60% which is right here and then we need to change the font so I'm going to come here to the font color and this is going to be the green um, accent 6 darker 25 percent and bold that and then the last thing is the first line of text I'm going to select that and change that to a orange actually I'm going to go over here to the font launcher button and we're going to go to 14 inch size 14 uh, point size and the color is going to be an orange accent to 25 percent darker and finally, we're going to change the text to small caps. And here you can see the preview right here. Click OK. And there's our tabbed text with the double border and the change of colors with shading. So hope that helps.